It's a spectacular volcanic island that researchers were hoping was still free of a deadly strain of bird flu. So we've prepared for the fact that it may be here and a lot of the work we're trying to do is actually understand whether it had reached um, the island. The team was flown from the ship to the shore where they made a devastating discovery during the peak of the breeding season. Unfortunately, yeah, there was considerable mortality in one section of the island that was consistent with H5 bird flu. Signs of the virus were only present on one side of the island with no penguins or other seabirds impacted but most of the dead elephant seals were pups. Yeah, look, we're still trying to work out the numbers at the moment. Unfortunately, we've seen into the hundreds. Samples were taken, packaged in secure containers and stored in a freezer for future testing. The scientists given a full biosecurity clean down to reduce the risk of further spread. This virus has been pretty catastrophic for wildlife as well as industry globally. Heard Island is located in the middle of the Southern Ocean, about 4,000 kilometres southwest of Perth. It'll take almost three weeks before the Noyina returns to Hobart, when the samples will be tested to confirm the exact cause of the seal deaths. The Australian government says there's no cause for alarm and that it's invested more than $100 million preparing for the potential arrival of the H5 strain here in Australia. We have been uh, getting prepared for this for some time. We are the only continent that is currently free of this H5 bird flu. A virus that appears to be edging ever closer to our shores. Jono Gibson, ABC News.